Hey, it's Ashley here at the Alaska Urban Hippie. I wanted to do a quick video on identifying a horsetail, a really common um, Alaska garden nuisance. So right now it's end of May. I'm in Anchorage, Alaska, and I haven't planted anything yet. It's um, normally in Anchorage, you wait until like the last weekend in, weekend in May or the first weekend in June. So I'm gonna do it next weekend. Um, oh, and also it's it's 9.30 p.m. right now. <laughs> but this is just Alaska life. So my garden looks pretty boring right now because it's just all of the green onions, um, my perennials, and horsetail. All of these generous horsetail volunteers. So... Horsetail is really annoying, but it's not that terrible for your yard or for your garden. So it's, I have a very, um, like a very, we live in a pretty like wet area and I get horsetail all over my yard. It pops up through my garden bed. It's everywhere. And um, if you know how to use it, some people know how to use it medicinally or like herbally. I don't really do anything with it, but if you're interested in making use of it, I know that you can you can look up um, like horsetail hair conditioner rinse and horsetail tea and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, uh, onto the good part. I will show you how to identify it so you know what you're looking at. It is a pain to try to pull out, so. It starts shorter earlier in the season. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Focus. It starts off short early in the season. Just little. And then it gets taller and taller and taller. And it's especially difficult to pull out because it grows in these segments. And so you'll try to pull it out of the ground and it'll just pop. Did you hear that? Just a pop sound. As the segments just pull apart from each other. And so you try to pull it out of the ground and you can't get the roots unless you really start to dig into the soil. Um, but it's just gonna pop up everywhere and it looks kind of spiky, like you wouldn't wanna touch it but it's, it's soft, actually. And so it's, it's annoying, but it's, I mean, it's not adding thorns or spikes to your garden. And so I just leave it. My plants go around it. It's not a big deal. Once it's in your garden or in your yard, I mean, good luck getting rid of it. It's just gonna be there. But this is what it looks like. And again, it starts short, and then it just gets taller and taller. And like, <laughs> this is an area where I I must have tried to get rid of it at some point, and it's just coming back stronger and happier. <laughs> there you go. That's horsetail. I know that my chickens don't mind eating it, and so when I'm weeding the garden and I've got my bucket of chicken weeds, um, my bucket of plants that I'm going to throw into their run. They'll eat horsetail. So I know that it's uh, edible for chickens anyway. I haven't personally tried it. But if you're interested in making some kind of use out of it, again, you can definitely Google like horsetail medicinal uses and you can find some things that way. So there is horsetail. I'm sorry if you're dealing with it in your garden space right now. It's all over mine, but it hasn't really been an issue. It doesn't seem to compete with my plants. It's just, it's there. So, good luck with your horse tail.